movie Friday. Let's go, let's go. You see them in Repo Man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And give it up for the African King of Comedy, Mr. Michael. Guess what? The Lord did not answer your prayers. Because my nigga, you are next. That nigga look like the weekend on a weekday, motherfucker. The ladies look so much better. Hey ladies, how you doing? Got some sexy motherfuckers here tonight. And a couple of crackhead looking bitches too. I saw y'all coming in here. She like, hi, I say no, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you look like me, no. I will never fuck myself. I didn't come to talk about you, I got other niggas to talk about. Like your goddamn president, that orange ass nigga. <laughs> Call my country a shithole country, your mouth was shithole. That nigga had me proposing to my ex, I didn't even fuck with her like that. She was like, oh, you love me? I said, no, I'm doing this for Donald Trump. Either I marry you or I get deported, motherfucker. <laughs> now sign this prenup so you don't take my $80 and my two goats. <laughs> now you're trying to build a wall like Mexicans can't climb. Try again, motherfucker. <laughs> He's trying to get rid of everybody except for that dead beaver on his fucking head. <laughs> Who the fuck cut this nigga's head? He must go to the barber shop, comb my shit here. Call me back. Put it to the front. Put the shit back. Fuck it, I quit. You guys been fucking up lately. All right, Kelly! You're trying to kill me! 30 years! I want to see my kids! They ain't going to jail for child support. You got to make up your mind. I like my women old enough to drink alcohol. This nigga like his women old enough to drink Pedialyte. <laughs> a few months ago, somebody broke that nigga house and stole his furniture. He stole that nigga's bed. Who the fuck on R. Kelly's bed? That bed is filled with piss, motherfucker. Everybody pee on each other in that nigga's house. That shit pissed me off. Now I know why he like young girls. You tell a young girl to pee on you, she pees on you. I tried to have an order chick pee on me. Bitch fuck around and took a shit. You can't hold your ass on and let your bladder loose? Did you just shit, shit on me? I said, pee, no shit. Is this how you shit on niggas? Bitch, you are full of shit. Who else? Jesse Smollett! That nigga whooped his own ass. Blame two Nigerians. Try again, motherfucker. <laughs> America's getting very soft on us. They don't want to make fun of anybody anymore. We can't call midges midges no more. What pussy called a bunch of grown little niggas? 
can't make fun of gay people no more, God damn it. So America is the only place to be. America is free to do whatever y'all want. Some part of Africa, America, every year somebody come out the closet. Some part of Africa, we so homophobic, we have no closets in our house. We hang our clothes in the kitchen. They don't want us to make fun of gay people because they want everybody to be gay, goddammit. I don't want to be gay, I'm sorry. I do not want to suck a dick. We're going to pull something out drink 10 years. Everybody's going to be gay in 10 years. Everybody. The police. Ah, pow, pow, pow. Ah, did it, did it, did it, Poof, out of bullets, got a gun. Everybody's going to be gay in 10 years. The fire men. Ooh, let it burn, let it burn. I love the heat. Let's go home. It's flaming, I'm flaming. We won't. Spit on it. Go to the zoo or the animals gay, the tigers. <laughs> Go home to your pit bull. Whoa! Like a rah. <laughs> Baby's gonna be born gay. <laughs> You want mommy to breastfeed you? Mm-mm. Where's daddy? <laughs> we all gonna be gay in 10 years. The problem will call the first gay president. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the first gay president of the United States. Dick and balls. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna bend over backwards for everybody. <laughs> After my inauguration, I'm having a huge party. Everybody can't come. <laughs> On me. Thank you. <laughs> Hollywood is trying to shut everybody down. Now they're going after Morgan Freeman, goddammit. How old is this nigga in his early thousands? <laughs> that nigga so old, if you tell him to act his age, he would die. Act <laughs> your age. Man. It's a new year, I'm not beefing with nobody, goddammit. If you're gonna beef, don't ever beef with 50 cents. This is one petty ass nigga. 50 is the type of nigga that would pay your mother to give him a video of you crying at six months old. <laughs> and then he's gonna post it and say you was always a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> nigga, I was six months old. <laughs> you know, like the Bill Cosby, that nigga in jail just... <laughs> Wait for R. Kelly, bring that nigga, please. <laughs> Bill must have a big ass dick. How the fuck them bitches remember he fucked them 40 years ago? In their sleep. All they said they remember was dick and sweater. Sweater and dick. Dick, sweater, dick. This is the nigga with no drawers or dick and sweater. Every time he busts a nut, he put a new sweater on. Dick, sweater, dick, nigga. Every old woman in America snitch on a nigga. Bitches woke up in the grave just to snitch. They said, well, all do you remember? She said, dick and sweater. In 1994, when I started doing comedy, I went over to that nigga's house. 3 p.m., every bitch was asleep. I said, Bill, what the fuck is in this jello pudding pot? He said, oh, time for dick and sweater. 
As soon as he went to the bathroom, I said, bitches, wake up. This nigga is gonna fuck you. I see it in his eyes. He got new shipments of sweaters today. He got long sleeve sweaters, short sleeve sweaters, coochie sweaters, white beta sweaters. You don't wake up, I'm gonna fuck you too, bitch. Dick sweater nigga is coming. The door just opened, bitch, hurry up. His dick is hard, his sweater is hard. His dick is wrapped in a sweater. One dick, two balls, one sweater. Bitch, the nigga is here. Dick sweater nigga. I wasn't doing nothing. I wasn't trying to wake her up. I was beating her down for you. Yes, I take a sweater, yes. I have my own dick. Now you have two dicks and two sweaters. Bitch, I try to save you. Dick sweater niggas are ready. Bitch, are you okay? Is the bitch dead? Dick sweater nigga, help me please. You do this all the time. This is my first dick sweater event. I can't be talked by nobody. I can get my shit together, goddammit. On stage, dressed like the sixth member of the five hobbies, goddammit. <laughs> Fuck all you hating ass niggas. I only talk about people because I had a fucked up childhood. My mother tried to have an abortion with me when I was six years old, motherfuckers. She's gonna wake me up in the middle of the night to my shame an abortion. I said, what the fuck that has to do with me? She said, nigga is you. I said, isn't it too late? I'm in my 95th trimester. I can't talk. You're gonna drive me to Planned Parenthood? I'm gonna get out of the car and run. My mom told me I'm the longest living miscarriage. What kind of shit is that? She used to breastfeed me with shades on. What the fuck are you doing? Take off the shades and look at me. I'm sucking your titties, look at me. So me and my girl broke up again. This time I broke up with her. She caught me cheating, nosy motherfucker. Now that you caught me, I can't trust you. Why did you have to catch me? We were so happy. Stop showing up. Call before you come so I'll stop what the fuck I'm doing. Stop going through my phones and looking at naked pictures. They are for me. Get your own naked pictures, please. I have to start all over, goddammit. And ladies, I'm not picky enough to be a dime piece, a nine piece, an eight piece. I'll take a penny with a hole in it. I have fucked a lot of ugly bitches in my life. I fucked bitches that wanted to fuck me. I had no choice. I've never fucked a dime. I fucked a three and a possible. I've been hitting threes way before Steph Curry, but I fuck that. And I always stay in my lane. I know my lane. I know the ugly nigga lane. You know you ugly. You are two slaps away. Nigga, you made it. You ain't ugly, you just ain't nobody's type, motherfucker. And with all my homies, we see a bunch of girls. I said, no need to fight. I know which one is mine. Yes, the caca bitch. With the two left legs. This bitch. Bitch, let's go. Fuck taking it for the team, I took it for the league, motherfucker. She gonna talk about she ain't ugly, but you two miles from beautiful. That's a long way. That's four exits. Talking about beauty is in the inside. Bitch, I have no x-rays. Talking about beauty is skin deep. Well, you're ugly to the bone, bitch. And I hate that ugly girl that try to walk cute. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Bitch, walk ugly. Walk like you look. Just up.
You are a 10 and a 9, you can walk like this. You are a 7, 8, I'll let you slide. You are 1, 2, 3, bitch, let's go. <laughs> the zoo card, the one you bought, bitch. I can nerve to FaceTime me. You don't have a FaceTime face. You have a text face, motherfucker. Talking about she's a bad bitch. No, he just done went bad, bitch. And I'm African. I'm into the girls with their fat asses. Fat asses! Love a fat ass. A girl with no ass to me is a boy, motherfucker. I call her he bitch, or he ho, or she him. Or she nigga. A nigga bitch. A man sir. Or he ho, she me, he her. A brother bitch. A nigga ho. Mr. Lady. Nigga thought. Tatiana nigga. Oh he he ho. Coochie dick nigga. Uncle Auntie? <laughs> and I love the big girls. The only thing a skinny girl could do for me is show me the big girl in his head, motherfucker. <laughs> Just point her out get the fuck out of my face. But the skinny girls got their echo in their coochie like there's nothing in it. You know, fuck a skinny girl from the back, you hear that noise? <sighs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Your pussy is hungry. <laughs> Put some cookies in it, motherfucker. <laughs> Pakashi didn't left me. I was so I used to be so cute to my girl before we broke up. Call me all the cute names. Hello, Chocolate Mansion, Coco Puffs. A little Idris Elbow. From Denzel, Massachusetts. After we broke up, my girl told me I looked like the last hot dog on the grill that nobody don't want. I said, fuck you, I hope your period lasts 30 days, bitch. Then she told me I looked like a roach with a gym membership. I said, your mother and your father is the same nigga, fuck you. <laughs> One time we making love, I came in 45 seconds. I said, did you come? She said, yes, to the wrong house. I said, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with 45 seconds, motherfucker. Now that my girl left, I'm trying to do all the shit I could do when I'm with her. Trying to do three some shit. Why you ain't tell me that shit was extra hard work? I'm trying to fuck two bitches, just... <laughs> bitch, help me. Put your finger in her ass. Put your ass in my face. Everybody together right now. Chop my titties together. Bitch, I have one dick and two balls. Put your face in my face. Your finger together. Lick each other right now. Bitch, have a nigga. Whose titties is this? I'm Michael Blackson. Thank you, New York. <laughs>